What's up, YouTube? Big Homie Fit Tech back again. Tech Talk Friday on deck, guys. I hope everybody's having a beautiful, peaceful week so far. I hope you're ready for the weekend. Looks like we might have good weather tomorrow, but I don't know about Sunday. Might get a little rainy, guys. But anyway, this is about that tech life. So, guys whole lot to talk about but i'm going to get through it very briefly don't want to take up too much of your time on this beautiful as you can see sun shining through the window apologize for not being super professional um you know and having the light shine in but you know of course that's better than you know the artificial light right so at least i got the real you know god designed spotlight on me right now but anyway, let's get right to the point, guys. A couple beautiful things to talk about in the tech industry. Man, Google, I appreciate it. And it's about time that Android gets a proper messaging app. Something that rivals iMessage, because we all know iMessage is sweet. Let's not get it twisted. All y'all fanboys, all y'all Android fanboys out there, you know, come on, you gotta admit it. If you ever played around with iMessage, it's beautiful, it's amazing. You can do all kinds of shit you can't do with a regular SMS uh, messaging app. And on top of that, it's encrypted. Yeah, so, you know, uh, that's a beautiful thing. Encryption is like the joint right now. And on top of that, if somebody were to, you know, get your phone or something like that, there's no way they can get your, your data. Not even FBI can get your data off your phone. Regular SMS is pretty much unsecure. So, you know, shout out to Google for finally, I think, from what I heard in, in, in a few articles and also a link that I'm sorry about the notifications, guys, a link that I will post to the to uh, the Verge video uh, that I watch on YouTube. I'm subscribed to the Verge. Made a shout out to the Verge. Uh, they're pretty dope. Sometimes I think they're a little bit biased to uh, iOS to Apple, but whatever. I like Apple too, but I'm just an Android guy. Ever since the G1 came out, I've been hooked on Android. But anyway, I'll post a link to the description. They get a little bit more in depth as far as exactly how things work and the terminology and how uh, this new version of SMS is going to be available for all platforms, whether you're rocking uh, a Galaxy from Samsung or if you're rocking a Huawei, uh, whatever, Mate 10 or whatever, uh, you know, Android device, all the manufacturers support the same version, uh, this new version of SMS. It's just going to be a major update on Google side to uh, implement it and you will have uh, that available in the default messaging app on whatever device Android device you have so all the way around messaging is getting ready to get much much better for Android which is dope secondly what about those specs that we're seeing for the Note 9 that thing is looking beastly I'm still enjoying having a whole lot of fun with the S9 Plus. I love this device, but it does fall short on a few things for me. Definitely with certain extra apps, like, you know, two messaging apps, two browser apps. I don't use, I really, I use the messaging app because, you know, my girl, my brother, a couple people like that have Samsung devices. But, you know, that's falling back to what I was just discussing as far as the messaging app. And having it all around uh, supporting supporting the same features and integration such as an iMessage you know you can pretty much use the same version of iMessage you know on uh, you know a iPhone you know 6 that you can use on an iPhone 10 and that's four different you know versions of, of this device when you have you know Android as we know I'm not gonna get all into it uh, I don't want to bash Android or anything, but I'll toss in a link in the description. Second thing I want to talk about was, you know, the embedded fingerprint sensor. 
I can't wait for this. These specs are looking amazing on this uh, Note 8, guys, and I'm looking forward to it. I hope it's not rushed uh, because I'm definitely tired of seeing rust devices and also I hope they stay they hope they steer clear of the notch I don't want the notch I don't like the notch at all guys I think that it's just you know I understand you know trying to go full bezel-less I'm all for that but there's a few several different companies out there who have gone bezel-less without putting a notch in the device so yeah guys I'm just saying so you know uh, please Samsung, if you're listening, please don't do the notch because, you know, I will be. Put a notch on your device. You know, I'm letting you know I I, I, I don't want to use it, guys. You know, I'm a techie. I love technology. But I'm definitely, if that's an option for another device that doesn't support. Also, I've been hearing something about a notch on the Pixel 3. Please, 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 please don't let that happen. Hearing good news out there about it, but I hope that it does not happen. I don't want a notch please <laughs> anyway guys mainly those were the few things that I wanted to discuss today with you guys that's also I'm definitely still rocking Pixel 2 XL this is my baby not going anywhere until the Pixel 3 XL comes out I love this device so yeah definitely not rocking one phone right now I'm on the edge of grabbing that red uh, that red uh, iPhone 8 Plus, but I don't want to carry three phones, guys. I love technology again, no sponsorships. I'm buying this stuff for more money, and I respect the game. I got to build up the big homie Fit Tech community where I'm where I will be uh, marketable for manufacturers and vendors to actually ship me items to demonstrate or review. I get that. Uh, oh that description that beautiful description that super sad tv major shout out not that he needs a you know shout out from me but you know what they say about people not getting the flowers while they can still smell them i shout out the youtubers who inspire and motivate me because if it weren't for them i wouldn't have got the balls to go ahead and start doing this so major shout out to super sad i will throw a link uh, in the description to this video about his video that he posted I think he posted to, posted it today about how do I get free stuff one huge question that any new uh, youtuber always has for people who are already well established and have a huge uh, following a huge fan base uh, that are major major players in uh, content creators here on YouTube is how do I get free stuff pretty much everything that I review uh, I purchase you know I have a pretty cool plan where I can buy several you know phones so I can actually go to T-Mobile uh, with jump on demand you could probably do it on your carrier too because they all have a different variation of it and you know just pay a monthly fee down a deposit you know a couple bucks right now front taxes stuff like that and you add 30 40 bucks to your bill every month that's affordable right versus going out and buying you know a device for a thousand dollars i can't do that yet i will check the check and it makes sense for a company to not send me any free products if i don't have if i haven't put the blood sweat and tears and work into my building my channel with a full portfolio with views and subscribers that will actually show that if they send me their product their product will be seen it will be marketed it will be advertised why would you send somebody uh, a product that they're gonna they're gonna make a video for and nobody's gonna see it because you don't have a you don't have a, uh, a portfolio you don't have a following you don't have that many subscribers i appreciate super Saf because i've asked this question to several youtubers with which whom i understand everybody's busy and i still applaud and appreciate what they do for being 
content creators on this beautiful platform. But it took this guy. I mean, he it was like he was a psychic. I'm sure he's been getting asked this question for his whole career because he's almost at, uh, I think he hit 1 million subscribers, but he has a huge um, fan base. He's well developed in his, I mean, his videos are amazing. Um, the production, uh, everything, the editing, it's beautiful. You know, I can't even, I can't even afford, a, well, I can pay the monthly subscription, but my computer, I gotta upgrade my computer because I tried it, you know, you can download the Adobe Premiere demo, but guess what? My computer drags ass when I install that because you need a beast of a computer. Or if you, if you, if you can afford a Mac, you need to be rocking that Final Cut Pro. Although you can rock Adobe uh, Premiere, some people like Final Cut better than, um, you know, uh, Final Cut Pro on Mac, which is only available on that platform. Or some people like Adobe Premiere, which is available on both platforms. So my point that I'm trying to uh, get to is nobody's going to send you free stuff until you build up that portfolio. Thank you, Super Saf for clarifying that. I've been asking that question to several different content uh, creators who are well developed and have huge followings and they give me crickets. <laughs> but I understand everybody, you know, is busy, especially if this is your full-time job. It's not my full-time job. I wish it could be my, I wish I could support my family, my daughters uh, and myself and pay my bills off of just creating uh, YouTube content alone. I apologize guys for the, the lighting, but you know, unfortunately that's not the case for me. So yeah, you know, uh, uh, again, guys, I apologize for the light. I need to get my lighting together as far as in my, uh, my little Joffice space is my little, uh, my little studio room. <laughs> I do it all right here. But anyway, I also got to figure out, you can tell I'm a rookie because I'm always looking at the viewfinder. Major shout out to my Canon EOS M10 that I definitely purchased myself and I reviewed it uh, a while back if you saw that video. I appreciate you checking it out. This camera has been great to me as well as my mobile devices. They, man, these mobile phones have come a long way. I just did a video, a quick little rant about that uh, a couple days ago these phones have come a very long way but still as people always say that that dedicated uh you know camera you know that shoots at least 1080p nothing like it but anyway i'm going off on another another subject guys that was pretty much it for me as far as tech talk friday i'm get ready to go head up to the hospital to visit my beautiful granddaughter shout out to my kenzie pool um hopefully she'll be home uh, from the hospital she had a few little things to, little kinks to get worked out and hopefully she'll be home um, uh, Monday so I'm gonna go up here and steal some kisses from my granddaughter and um, yeah guys I appreciate your time if you like the content comment subscribe hit that notification bell you know if you want to be notified when I upload new content and I definitely appreciate your time Peace, love, and blessings, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Big homie Fit Tech, and I'm out.